Welcome to the African Hub for Sustainable Creative Economies, a place to share research, knowledge and ideas. This project is funded by the Arts and Humanities Research Council in the United Kingdom. This video considers the role of culture and community development in Nigeria through the activity of national and state councils for arts and culture. Professor Juro Uni is based at the Department of Creative Arts, University of Lagos, and a fellow of the Nigerian Academy of Letters. Dr. Cornelius Unkeba is a theatre and film studies scholar at the Department of Creative Arts, University of Lagos. Dr. Shibu Oseni is a teaching fellow at the Department of Mass Communication, University of Lagos. The chapter focuses on the link between culture and development in Nigeria. This is evident in the role played by institutions such as the State Council of Arts and Culture and the National Council for Arts and Culture. Their primary responsibility includes the development of Nigerian arts and culture and improving the socio-economic conditions of people. Nigeria recognises culture as a key instrument for national development in 1975, the National Council for Arts and Culture was created as an autonomous agency for the Ministry of Information. Following this was the creation of State Council for Arts and Culture, all aiming to harness the potential for arts and culture for national development. Some significant cultural events that took place during this time included the National Festival of Arts and Culture in 1971 72 and the second World Black Festival of Arts and Culture in 1977. The success of cultural events like Festival of Arts and Culture contributed to creating more state councils. As can be seen in the figure, state councils were established between 1972 and 1996. The darker the colour of the assigned to the state, in the figure, the older the establishment of its state council, and the lighter the colour, the earlier the establishment of its state council. The statutory functions of state councils include cultural promotions, cultural preservation, talent development, advising government on cultural matters, consultancy services, and revenue generation through the sale of cultural products. Some state councils organise local festivals and also promote traditional fabrics and crafts, contributing to the creative economy. State councils also impact job creation and economic empowerment, since they engage artists and craftspeople from local communities. State councils have been affected by the commercialization policy of some states, such as Koji State, which required state councils to rely on internally generating revenue without government funding. The National Council for Arts and Culture is a federal body and serves as coordinating agency for cultural activities and all art councils in Nigeria through the events such as the annual National Arts Festival, which can be seen in the picture. National Arts Festival remains a flagship activity of the National Council for Arts and Culture. From 1970 to 2003, the themes of National Arts Festival were focused on promoting unity and diversity given Nigeria's multi-ethnic and multi-religious status. In 2004, the theme changed to using culture to build the nation, signifying a new focus on wealth creation through arts and culture. This continues to be a reoccurring philosophy of National Arts Festival. A breakdown of the past National Arts Festival themes shows that there was a focus on the cultural development for separate cultural fields between 1970 and 1995. Culture as a nation building and promotion between 1996 and 2008. Culture and development as a creative economy between 2009 and 2016 and the culture as a broader discussion on heritage and national development between 2017 and 2019. Findings show that the state councils that participate 
in National Arts Festival only use the themes in their presentations at the festivals with no intention to integrate the themes into their long term planning. The most obvious challenge at state councils face is a lack of support and poor funding from state governments. This has led to a practice of tokenism where money is only given to state councils for participation at state and national events, such as there is a lack of comprehensive funding structure for state councils. The National Council for Arts and Culture and State Council for Arts and Culture have a history of dependence on the whims and caprice of political leaders. The councils are sometimes left without budgetary allocation and there are cases of politicalization of leadership of cultural agencies. The research recommends that governments should fund councils adequately all year round to enable them to contribute effectively to the development of the creative economy in Nigeria. If you would like to read this research in more details, consider purchasing the book Higher Education and Policy for Creative Economies in Africa. You can keep up to date with our work and research via the social media channels of African Hub for Sustainable Creative Economies.